We see Eevee, Dragon Zord, Evil Zard, Raichu, Mega Slayer, and Green Hornet. What are these guys' names? Holy moly. Mega Slayer, the Gyarados. What an absolute champion of a Pokemon. I'm going to lead Aerodactyl, and I'm going to set rocks. And even if I die, look at the rocks value. <laughs> you kind of have to set rocks against Beedrill, otherwise you really do get punished. You really do get punished. Actually, let me think about this. I'm actually going to lead Electrode instead. We're not gonna we're not gonna lead Aerodactyl, cause I think he's leading Gyarados. Oh, sorry, I think yeah I think he's leading Gyarados. We're just gonna go for a big Thunder I think right off the bat. Here we go. Hope this stream is inspiring people to use their favorite Pokemon, even if it's considered bad. Yo, that's the that's what all the streams are there for. I think all of my content pretty much just says like, hey, you can use what you want, and it's like, but so and so said it's not good. It's like, so and so can suck a dick. Sorry, like you can just use whatever you want. Eevee, huh? Let's go. Deadpool confirmed 12 years old. <laughs> I'm about to just, am I about to just Thunderbolt or Thunder this thing? I'm gonna do it. Instead of going for Thunder Wave, right? Thunder Wave, you know, being 90% accuracy. Why don't I just go for the 100% accuracy? Because I gotta get my field power bonus. You know, today I have not missed a single sleep powder. Uh, I gotta get my, you know, 25% like accuracy boost. Hit the Thunder and get the Para. That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's go. Show me that big damage. I'll get that para too. Give me the big para. Never lucky. All right. I feel like it's a fine game mentality to find how to win with characters you like. Oh, I agree. I'm totally, believe it or not, I'm sure Ziki Tomu would know this. I'm sure most of you guys would know this. Believe it or not, I'm actually one of those, one of the few, the proud, the brave, the low tier heroes that use things that are bad. I know. I know some of, that might be something you guys don't want to hear, but I'm definitely a low tier hero. I also don't have Johns for like, well, my character just sucks in this matchup. Now it's like, I, I, I definitely hold the L when I take my shit character to like a FGC tournament and, and lose. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh well, you know. My best friends I play with all the time is low tier hero too. I mean, I'm not like a low tier hero, but like, let me see. I walk a fine line. There's a, the thing about it is, I don't search for something bad to make it good. It's just that in every single, like, fighting game, every character I've ever wanted to use has ended up being bad. There's, like, three times where a character I like is good. And in BB Tag, like, Blake is good in that game. And that's just, I'm lucky. I like that character. I like, the, I like its playstyle, I like its moves, and that's one of the few times that, like, a character that I like in a fighting game has been good. I just pick whoever I like. Yeah, that's the thing. Alright, as a Dragonite. Oh, we're gonna thunderbolt this. Or sorry, thunder wave. We actually thunder wave this. We actually have to thunder wave this, so it's bad. Alright, Parasect is pretty cool. I definitely slept on it before finding you. Parasect's busted. But I like the pun as well. Have you seen random panda? The random panda takeover in Tekken? Are you talking about like Panda Global? Or I, I don't know what you're talking about. Random panda. I'm over here when Hearthstone meme decks are bust. I like Hearthstone too. Hearthstone's a lot of fun. Let me see. He's locked into Outrage. And he's paralyzed. I think we actually just come in with Aerodactyl. There are too many people who claim to be low tier heroes and then just complain about the matchups. Yeah, I don't I don't care about I don't complain about the matchups at all. The, zero complaint from me. I think. I think I'm actually just gonna sub and try and wait it out. Panda's a character that sucks and everyone thinks he'd be troll, but this guy won worlds with it. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I'm actually friends with a couple, like, big Pokemon players, like, uh, Shangles. That guy's cool dude. I like that guy a lot. Let's see, Outrage. Ah, oh, never luck. Yeah, let's hope he gets confused after this turn. Hopefully he gets confused after this turn right here. Crit! Oof! I would've died! Oh, Shadow's the Substitute coming in hot with the protection and the confuse. Cool. So you know he's most likely going to switch this turn? I think he's probably going to switch to Gyarados. Uh, we're just going to pop a uh, rocks this turn because it's a free rocks this turn. Oh, he's staying in! He's crazy! Shadow, look how crazy he is! Why are you so crazy? He's confused and paralyzed! Why are you trying to fight me? Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Thun Thunderbolt! <laughs> what? What? Why? Oh, I'm about to end you. I could actually sub. I will sub. I'll be like 4 HP. 
One. Oh, Sash is up. I was a little bit too close for comfort. Um, oh, Sash is up, guys. Put those sashes up. What do you got? Another. You actually get another attack off? This is not lucky for me. Oh, man, that sucks. But we got one HP Aerodactyl. He's confused and paralyzed and just bodying me with Thunderbolt right now. Dragon Zord coming in humongous over here. And then we miss a rock slide? Wait, are you- And snap out of confusion! We miss a rock slide! Snap out of confusion! No para! Can I play the- Can I play the game? You know the game? That, uh, I wanted to play was not this. <laughs> For you, I was like, you thought you was gonna get the chance. <laughs> You're right. How could I be so blind? Never lucky, bro. I know, right? Never, ever lucky. Alright, Snorlax. Show me that damage. Ice punch. Let me get a para or something. He's just gonna outrage the absolute shit out of me, isn't he? I mean, I did get rocks up. Very important in this matchup. Ice punch. Look how fast we are. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. We can finally get the para chat. Finally. Through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain. Give me that para. We're actually going to use body slam because there's a, there's a slight chance he switches. And switch would be the bad play. Because Dragonite would get KO'd if you ever brought it back out to rocks. So we just body slam just in case. Cover our options. It sucks we're showing it, but it's okay. Yeah, Sash is up for him too. He's like, you're not the only one with one of those invisible focus sla focus uh, sashes. Guys, what's your drink of choice? What's your dr what's what's everyone drinking today? What's everyone's drink of choice? Ooh, a shiny Raichu. I really like the way that shiny looks. He reminds me of like a. He looks like a little Debbie. He looks like a Fudge Round. You guys ever seen a Fudge Round? That's what he looks like. Drinking water. All right. Alcoholic. I mean anything. I'm not. I'm drinking. I'm drinking cherry Pepsi. It's like 95 degrees. Is it like 95 degrees? I'm just gonna earthquake again. What's he gonna do? Encore? Please. T wave. All right, we take those. Remember watching the Five Dragonite team when I was like, "Why does everyone think Outrage is a one-click to win button?" I mean, it is. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew solid vodka because I'm an alcoholic. All right. Which mod do you think is better if you have to pick one? Dodrio, Venomoth. Venomoth's probably like top five Pokemon in the game. Uh, Coyster's up there as well. Omastar's worse than Coyster. Cobbytop's worse than both of them. I would say that that order would probably be Venomoth, Coyster, Victory Bell, Cobbytop's, Omastar, Dodrio. Drink your choice. Fresh guava juice. I've never had that at all. That's never been something I've had. Pepsi's my favorite. We got Wild Cherry Pepsi right here. Long Island Iced Tea. Alright, uh, I actually got like tricked into having a long island iced teas one time. I went to a bar and I didn't want to drink. My friends like, what do you get? I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna drink. And they're like, well, come on, let's just get, get something. I was like, well, what do they have that's like, what, well, what do they have? And they're like, you like, uh, you like tea? And I'm like, I'll get some tea. That works. And they got me like, I had like five long island iced teas, and before I knew, it, I was smashed. Diet Coke, man. Okay. All our sugar drinks got nerfed here in the UK and mostly tastes like shit. I believe that. Yeah, I don't, I don't normally drink ever. Like, ever, ever. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that rocks damage. Absolute value here. Hit me with those deliciously girly drinks. Yep, that's the play. Alright, cool. So I'm going to take the L, but it's alright. I think we just come out with, uh... Do we bring out, uh... Electrode's already KO'd. Oh, fuck. We don't have, like, any good Pokemon left. I don't remember what his last Mon is. Do we need Eevee for, like, anything? Nah, we'll live. What's your last Pokemon? I lost a bunch of weight, and diet drinks helped a lot, so I can't go back to the sugar ones. Hey, that, that works. Oh, fuck, he has a Beedrill left. Alright, we can still win. I know how I'm gonna win. We had to KO this thing first. If he megas with this, his Beedrill's absolutely useless. Toxic! We take those? Why would you not just flamethrower me so you can hit with Beedrill? But he's gonna save it all for Beedrill! Are we gonna have a Beedrill versus Butterfree money match? Once had an apple martini, it literally tasted like a fresh apple and it was busted good. I know, right? There's some good stuff. The girly drink's are really good. They're absolutely busted. It was better to go for that Sizzly Slide than do, uh, you know, a bouncy level because... It wouldn't have killed anyways. But now we bounce able to get like the three health back. Cool. And Beedrill's gonna come in here. Beedrill might be able to one-shot our Eevee. 
it's possible. Like, he could crit. If he one-shots our Eevee, we then send out Arbok. Arbok will use a Glare. He'll KO Arbok, and then we'll use Butterfree to beat his Beedrill. That's the strat we're going with. But let's see. Let's see it. Show me your Beedrill, champion. Hook me up some pumpkin pie. I've never had pumpkin pie. And I worked at Starbucks for like five years, and I never had a pumpkin spice anything. You know, the green hornet. About to be eating a buzzy buzz. And we'll see if he actually has the damage, right? Let's see. You got you got that damage? Can you one-shot an Eevee? Because if I paralyze you, I just win. If I paralyze you, I just win. All I do is brick, brick, break. Oh my gosh. Really? Ah! Oh, we live in! We're at one! Sash is up! Sash is up for Caterpie, chat! Look at that value! Sash is up for Caterpie! Not Caterpie, for, for Eevee! That's the same thing! Why did I say Caterpie? Sash is up for Eevee! Actual Sash! <laughs> oh, dude, it's time. It's time! Actual Sash, Craigasm. It's time. He's thinking like, Ha, he can't hit me, I resist bug attacks! Yeah, that's right! That's, that's right! right. Dark Flame, how about this guy eats the biggest psychic he's ever seen in his life? Thank you so much for the follow. It's thanks to your juicy follow, we're going to be able to slam this guy in the face with the biggest psychic he's ever seen in his life. Let's go. Psychic! We got the speed that we need thanks to Eevee's sacrifice. And we take those. Deleted. The Green Hornet. Not enough today. Deadpool. Looks like you can KO Deadpool. Same. T oh, he switched it up. Oh, he has a Scyther now. He's like, no, I don't need Beedrill. I'm going to use Scyther now. <laughs> Maybe this time without Aerodactyl getting never lucky. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to set those rocks. Uh, we need to KO his Eevee somehow. Last time, Electrode worked really well. I'm just going to weed Electrode again. Do you guys think if I just led with Butterfree, I could KO all six of his Pokemon? I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of starting to feel myself. Just only but Butterfree versus the world. Coming to a theater near you. Summer 2019. <laughs> Adam and Lapras. <laughs> maybe. Definitely maybe. Alright, let's see it. Let's see this guy's strats. He's got mad with Butterfree power. I have not missed a sleep powder all day. I've hit like eight. I've hit like eight sleep powders. I've hit two thunders. Like eight sleep powders. I have every right. He's totally metagaming me. He went the damn Venusaur. We're just going to taunt it. Uh, if he goes for like a Sludge Bomb, he goes for a Sludge Bomb. It's not that much I can really do about it. Can't use Poison poison Powder. I mean... Why would you Poison... Why would you just use Toxic? Poison Powder can actually miss. It's actually a really good idea to put this up on a Venusaur. Venusaur has 80 base speed, so it's really good idea to... Really good idea to neuter that thing whenever possible. And he's gonna go for a sludge bomb. Alright, you guys ready for something sick? Electro can eat a little bit of damage. Hopefully, no poison. Never lucky! Quite a brave Lapras is better than Adamant because you could be mixed. I mean, I think the Adamant Lapras is such a meme that, like, you wanna be all in on your bad meme. As weird as that sounds. Like, you want to be bad. That's like half the shtick. Yeah, but see, but, see, literally, but Adamant though. See, you see? <laughs> it's a part of the meme. Shaking off the taunt. Oof. I think I'm just gonna EQ. Sorry, poison depth stronger. It's neutral. Adam is a mod. See, that's it's the subculture. All right, Arbok, show me that damage. You better not earthquake me. That's a lot of damage. Weech seed. Really? Really? I'm gonna. Just, I'm just gonna switch. I think. He's not going to poison me. He's going to use Mega Drain, right? He's 100,000% going to use Mega Drain, correct? Mega Drain. M Mega Drain. He's not going to Leech Seed again. He's not going to try and poison my poison type. So he's not going to use Sludge Bomb. He's going to use Mega Drain. P Pedal Dance. That's the same thing. Oh, we just won chat. We just won the game. He has to use Pedal Dance for like three turns. So, you know what we do in those three turns? Oh, we take him sleeping! And we're popping the biggest quiver dance you've ever seen in your life. Quiver dance. Appreciate the Zeke uh, stamp of approval. Can't be countered. Why do you want Glare on Arbok? 
You know Glare's a 100% accuracy para move? Did you know that? Why wouldn't, like, actually, what other move on Arbok is more worth using than Glare? It's like the best move that it gets, hands down. Hopefully no paras. Let me actually see, is this worth it? I already have the speed right now. I can just KO with Psychic right now. I'm just gonna KO with Psychic right now. I think it KOs. Yep, Glare can paralyze ground Pokemon. So hopefully this KOs. We're at plus one. Stabbed. Oh, not stabbed, but super effective. We take those. Venusaur taking the L. We got plus one Butterfree. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Butterfree. It's time. It's time to let the sweeps continue. I wonder if to, th to this person playing the game, if like, and all the people we've played with Butterfree, if I just look like an absolute legend. The opponent seems you need to watch them. The opponent seems you need to watch some of your videos. Yeah, I feel it. All right. Evil Zard. Good night. Oh, he's going, he's going mega. He's not good. Oh, man, he's going mega. Are you going X or Y, my guy? Why? All right. Well, go to bed first. No, we missed the sleep powder. Ah! We died. I think we still, I think we get KO'd. I think it KO's. Oof. That's a lot of damage. That's a crap ton of damage. All right. I'm just going to come with Aerodactyl. The Venusaur was the biggest problem for Aerodactyl to sweep. I know, Butterfree. Bye-bye, Butterfree. Missed the sleep powder. Never lucky. First time for everything. I'm going to put rocks up. He has like five things that are weak to rocks. Stealth rocks. Let's see if he has oh, Will-O-Wisp. I don't think he has Will-O-Wisp. I don't think he does. I think he's going to use... Thunder Punch. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, I wish he Thunder Punched me. He's probably just gonna use, like, Fire Blaster, Flamethrower or something. Let's see it. Even if he, even if he burns me, that would, that, that would suck, but he'd be alright. Toxic! I should've used Sub! He really toxic me? I should've used Sub. I should've just used Substitute. Alright, I'll just win now, then. He's speeding up my winning process, but I guess I'll just win, then. Rock slide. T punch new meta? No. Not today. Not in my house. Alright, get that out of here. This guy's playing a whole different meta. I mean, I used uh, Will Wisp on my Zard. When I went Zard X, I had the Will Wisp set. Uh, but I also, I've also used like Toxic Aerodactyl. It's good. Anything that gets a recovery move can use Toxic. That's pretty much the shortcut. The best toxic users are things that have recovery moves, and the second best users are actual poison types. I'm actually going to switch my Aerodactyl out, because this is the last Pokemon that's a problem for it. I'm going to switch in my uh, Snorlax here. Block the uh, para move, and then I'm going to repara him. He punches how you use Zard. I know, right? Is Adamant Blastoise viable? Oh, yeah. Just as, vi just as viable as, uh, you know, Lapras. It gets Waterfall. It gets Aqua Jet. Uh, I would say most people, actually it's Dragon Tail, like I would say that uh, it gets Fake Out, most people would probably use Adamant Blastoise. Adamant Blastoise is less of a meme than the Adamant uh, Lapras is, in my opinion. Blastoise is a pretty decent uh, physical attack. So let's see if we can actually hit him. Survey says, Body Slam, show me that big damage. Show me a Parrot suit. Never lucky. Skull, skull Bash, no, no thanks. We don't, we don't Skull Bash here. Bouncy Bubble. I, I don't know if we'll KO. We'll see. I don't think we have. I have an Adamant Modest to try out. I think Timid's actually the best nature on Blastoise. Because Blastoise is a pretty decent speed tiering. And you outspeed things like Dragonite, Gyarados, Venusaur if you're Timid. So, like, doesn't that sound absolutely busted? Doesn't that sound busted busted? To be able to, like, one-shot those things? Yarnosaurus Bass Boys hits, like, a wet paper bag. Yeah. So it's better to be fast. All right, take out the Eevee. Like I said, Eevee was the last big problem, so we're gonna be fine. Even if he comes in with like Dragonite, he's gonna go Dragonite, come in, can KO the Snorlax, uh, and then we just bring out Aerodactyl and Rock Slide after the Stealth Rocks damage should be able to take him out. Ooh, Scyther. That's so much damage. <laughs> Scyther. I'm actually going to Ice Punch. Uh, it is super effective. And I don't I don't know if Body Slam actually do it. Scyther isn't actually... Oh my goodness! Sword Stance! Alright. Snorlax, I know you're paralyzed. You can't be slacking on me this this turn. Not this turn. Not this turn. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. 
Ice Punch is just a little bit stronger. I, I feel Body Slam could have taken it out. It sucks I'm showing the Ice Punch, but I really could not let that Scyther just dominate me. Modest Mega Boss Twist hits like a cannon. Sometimes. There's no reason. You don't one-shot anything, because the Blast Twist's problem is, yeah, sure, it has an amazing special attack stat, but it doesn't have any strong moves. Like, are you using Hydro Pump? If you're using Hydro Pump, like, yeah, it hits like a cannon, but, like, it's Skull to like an 80 base power move. Ice Punch four times. It's only four times on Dragonite. It's not four times on Scyther. It's only super effective times two on Scyther. So, you know. Body Slam is like an 85 stabbed. So that would have been like 130-ish. Like 120, 130-ish. Versus, uh, you know, Ice Beat, sorry, Ice Punch 75, super effective is 150. And I wanted the little extra tick of damage. Uh, because Scyther isn't like the weakest Pokemon in terms of uh, bulk. As far as, like, Pokemon that don't get an evolution in Gen 1 go, Scyther's actually pretty good. Scyther, I, I ranked Scyther higher than Pinsir. Pinsir didn't even make the top 5 bug Pokemon list. I'm not kidding. It didn't even make the list. Scyther did, though. Was hoping for the Dragonite. Yeah. I would have liked to 4-punch the Dragonite. It doesn't actually KO, though. Even with Adamant, Snorlax doesn't KO from full. You have to use Stealth Rock damage, which we had, so we would have been fine. But I'd rather take the Snor the Scyther out than, like, have the Dragonite. Because, like, Dragonite is, a uh... We have stuff for Dragonite. Alright, Lapras. Alright, this is it, chat. Is it Adamant, Lapras? Is it Adamant? He's gonna get one turn to do something. Maybe. Unless we flinch him. Nope! We'll never know. Never know. Adamant, dead. Dead Lapras. You think that Stealth Rocks are not as common anymore? And use a Mono Fire Team? A mono fire team would be rough, but I'll think about it.